to homecoming. We've got the scoop. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. Go. Of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Centurions. Today is September 20th. On this day in 1973, in a highly publicized battle of the sexes, tennis match top women's player Billie Jean King, 29, beats Bobby Riggs for, for a former number one ranked men's player. Riggs, a self-proclaimed male chauvinist, um, has boasted that women were inferior and that couldn't handle the pressure of the game, and even at this age, he could be any female player. The match was a huge media event witnessed in in person by over 30,000 spectators in the Houston Astrodome and by another 50 million TV viewers worldwide. King made a Cleopatra style entrance on a gold litter carried by men dressed as ancient slaves. With rigs arrived in a rig shop pulled by female models, legendary sportscaster Howard Cosell called the match in which King beat Riggs in three sets. King's achievement not only helped legitim legitimize women's professional tennis and female athletes, but it was seen as a victory for women's rights in general. And if today is your birthday, well then... Happy birthday! Congratulations on being born on this day. You share your birthday with alternative pop singer, songwriter, and guitarist Grant Landis, who has written original songs with notable songwriters such as Brian Martha and Rich McCartney. He began his singing and songwriting career when he was 12 years old. He is an acoustic guitarist who draws inspiration from John Mayer and Ed Sheeran. Happy birthday to all. Now onto some of our very own sports here on campus. <clears throat> Our girls tennis will be heading to Valley to take on the Falcons. So wish them luck and more on that. Here is a short bit interview with Coach West. My name is Marcos from the Inside School Sports here with Coach West from the um, tennis tennis team. Who so today they will be playing the first league game against Valley and they're in a six game streak. How do you feel about that? Well, like you said, we've, we've won six matches in a row um, and we've been really putting in a lot of work. And so we're really excited to start league today against Valley, one of our, you know, our rivals. So our, our girls have uh, are just really ready. I mean, we want to get after it and wish, wish three o'clock was right now. Um, who are some team members that are going to stand out or lead the team? Well, really in, in this match, we're looking for all of our girls. Um, to contribute and, and come up with big wins. Uh, April Blanco, Jasmine Diaz, uh, Isabel uh, Trujillo are our singles. Um, they've really been putting in a lot of work. Um, and our, our doubles teams, uh, likewise, uh, Alicia and, and Ellie, um, Stephanie and Liz, and Jenny and Christabel, they've, they've all been putting in a lot of work. I'm really looking forward to all of them getting on, on the courts today. Well, thank you, Coach Wiss, for taking your time. Um, good luck, girls, today and back to the studio. Mm -hmm. Not only them, but our Orange League defending champions, girls volleyball will be traveling to Los Amigos to take on them, so also wish them luck. On our Friday, on this Friday, our boys will be heading to Seastrom Stadium to go up against Saddleback Roadrunners, so make sure to go out and support. Ashley, have you heard of Coachella? Avi, who hasn't? <laughs> Well, Century will have their own take on it, and it will be called Central. And I heard from ASB member Jessica that it's going to be lit. Well, Juan, don't be silly now. Let's not jump onto some conclusions and give our fellow Centurions some more 
um, information. Oh. The prices for this will, week will be $30. Don't waste your time because the prices will be going up. And we all know how you guys are. <laughs> this right. homecoming okay. <laughs> will be a spectacular and different one that nobody has ever seen. Um, and we know it gets hot and sweaty and dances, so they will be selling paletas. Ashley, are you getting <laughs> asked this year? No, I'm still waiting. Really? Is that what you've been waiting since your <laughs> freshman year? Well, Juan, why don't you speak to me when you get asked out first? <laughs> With that attitude of yours, I'm pretty sure you will never get asked out. <laughs> Nobody said your attitude was any better. <laughs> I'm so done. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, let's stop this before the broadcast turns into something else. <laughs> All right, we'll discuss this later. But let's keep on going with some school news. Also, remember, if you need help asking that special someone, ASB has got you covered. For only $5, um, <laughs> it will come with a poster, flowers, balloons, and a guaranteed date. Not only that, but next week, there will be a spirit week leading on to homecoming. On Monday is a mon normal modified day. Tuesday is band <laughs> t-shirt. So wear make sure you wear the t-shirt of your band. Fear band. On Wednesday, it will be Floral Wednesday, so make sure if you like Lilo and Stitch to. Sh it's your time to shine. <laughs> On Thursday will be Hippie Thursday, so Juan, you'll fit in perfectly for that day. <laughs> and last but not least, Friday will be a blackout for the homecoming game, which is September thirtieth. So Ash, you you are going, you're going to love that day. Have you heard about Sentry's new robotics team? If not, here's a video with more information. Introducing the world's greatest two minutes in robotics, the 2016-2017 game, Vex Robotics Starstruck. Starstruck is played on a 12 foot by 12 foot field by two alliances, one red and one blue, each made up of two teams. The object of the game is to attain a higher score than the opposing alliance by scoring stars and cubes across the fence into the scoring zones. Club will be having a meeting today right after school in room 318 so make sure to go if you want to read the ladies books this usually finishes at 4 so not a bad time to finish a club well centurions that's the news for today bye, bye.